Leo Dreger here. I want to talk about module six, which is Trojans and Backdoors. Now, in the last module, we talked about gaining access to a system and finally changing the integrity of our targets. But we can extend outside of the hacking lifecycle or the penetration testing lifecycle and really move in an a la carte fashion at this point. Trojans just happens to be one way in which we can get information executed on our system. So we're going to talk about the different types of Trojans, uh, the different signatures that a Trojan gives off. Mostly that has to do with the ports and signatures, uh, which is very, very important because as we're trying to get the Trojan implemented to a system, the defensive countermeasure here is uh, companies or clients, they're trying to protect it and prevent not getting infected. So we'll talk about the common signatures or ways to avoid detection. Um, we'll talk about how to construct the Trojan. And this realistically goes into the concept of Troy or the theory of Troy in which we have an overt application and a covert application. Overtly, we're going to put an application or some sort of distractor in front of the end user, while covertly, we're going to be dropping a backdoor or some sort of at root level access to our systems. So we combine these two concepts, overt and covert, combine them together to create a, a malicious application in which we hope that the user executes. Once the user executes this application, while, while they're distracted, we're getting access to the back door. Uh, we're also going to be need to be notified that, hey, the Trojan has been successful. So we need a way for the Trojan to actually communicate back to us and say, yes, I've been successfully installed or implemented, so uh, come take advantage of me. So we'll talk about the different types of Trojan analysis. We'll talk about countermeasures and the different types of anti-Trojan software, which basically you can boil down to antivirus, although there's a couple other techniques. So. Keep in mind, the focus here is getting access to our systems, changing the integrity of them, tricking our users, taking advantage of that, and all of the countermeasures and detection mechanisms. Because if you know those, well, then you can increase the likelihood of dodging those checkpoints and getting your software uh, infected on your system. So let's go ahead and get our hands dirty.